just work on the law issues, government regulation or governance system, but we also need to work with religious uh, structure. We need to indigenous structure, informal uh, leadership system in in one area because they are also very strong. Uh, for example, we have domestic ex law. We have a quota. 30% for women in parliament in all level. But we cannot use it, um, maximize in using this law because there is other structure, a uh, hidden structure where the, the, the leaders, the informal leaders actually say, no, you cannot do that because this against our norm, this against our values, this against our belief. So we need to also exercise this power who's very strong, even stronger than the law one. We have also women who finally become the first village chief ever in her island in very strong patriarchal system where women do not have any um, public position, especially if you are widows, if the women are widows, they cannot do anything. But since the first women ever in that island win on more than 80% vote, and running when his, uh, she's running for the village chief and become the first village chief who's very effective in, in um, manage uh, her village. So she's the first one, the first village chief who bring a road to that area, electricity for the first time, and also uh, building healthcare centers and practice um, transparency in the budget system in the uh, village development. So she's very, uh, for us, she's one of the example living legion for us uh, who's, who's really uh, coming up from very poor and most marginalized situation then come out to take public leadership and change also people's ways of um, living and village uh, governance system. I would like to see the uh, women-headed family organization, now they have become mass-based grassroots organization, leading the chain, social chains in different le level, from village to national level. And I want also to see some institutional chains in terms of seeing the position status of women, head of the family, and women in general.